When the Sisters of St. Francis of Perpetual Adoration bought the Bass Estate in Fort Wayne in 1944, the mansion on the property filled all their needs. The Romanesque Revival House, built in 1903 and called Brookside by the Bass family, was the college's sole building. Back then, Brookside was the university's everything. It accommodated classrooms, library, and offices for the College of 60 Women, and living accommodations for the nuns. Clearly, this was not your ordinary house, size-wise, at 25,000 square feet. In the parlance of the wealthy at the turn of the century, John Bass called the place his family's summer cottage. By the 21st century, St. Francis was a co-ed university, with 2,300 students on the main campus, and Brookside was the library, a beloved but tired structure that was ill-equipped for the digital age. Computers prefer air conditioning, for example, and lots of electrical outlets. Books and periodicals filled all three floors and the basement. Wing and Mahurin designed Brookside, decorating the sandstone exterior with a veritable zoo of grotesques and fanciful creatures. Some of the figures had been worn to nubs by weather and pollution. The place needed foundation work and the roof needed attention too. Inside, fluorescent fixtures lit most rooms and vinyl covered many floors. Walls had flat coats of institutional paint concealing stenciled surfaces. Water had damaged elaborate decorative plaster. You get the picture. When the University of St. Francis built a new library, the institution took a few years studying the future of Brookside. It could have opted for a modest, modern updating, but instead the university chose for an all-out $4.5 million restoration of the structure to house the offices of the President, Development and Alumni Affairs, and knock your socks off meeting and event spaces. As architects, Fort Wayne's MKM Architecture Plus Design led a team of preservation detectives who conducted historic paint analysis, searched out historic photos, and studied both Bass family history and the architecture and interior decor of the period. General contractor W.A. Sheets and Sons and a host of subcontractors worked on every nook and cranny from the foundation to the top of the turret on the clay tiled roof. They updated all systems as inconspicuously as possible, adding air conditioning, an elevator, and accessible restrooms. Artisans restored or replicated the plaster decorations, stenciling, and murals originally found throughout the house. Scalamandre reproduced the original fabric wall coverings in the library and foyer. Balancing its office use of Brookside, the University of St. Francis gives the community opportunities to experience this National Register listed treasure, offering tours and special public events, including its annual Christmas in the Castle event. Brookside, the front door of the University of St. Francis, is beautiful during the day and stunning at night when new lighting highlights the restored stone facade. Bravo, University of St. Francis! winner of the 2013 Cook Cup for Outstanding Restoration.